In this video, we'll talk about the time clock in Supermenu POS. This is where your employees will clock in, clock out, where they can start and end a staff bank, and where a manager can report on time clock activity and also maintain it. All of these functions are done within the Time and Attendance button. From here, when an employee comes in here, they'll enter in their ID and then hit the, the In button to punch in. If you're using staff banks on your, for your employees, you'll get this screen here, which asks for the amount of money that the staff bank is starting with. So if this start, is starting with $50, we'll just type in $50 and hit OK. If your employee is using a cash drawer and not a staff bank at this particular time, all they would need to do is to enter either a zero amount or hit the cancel button, and that will just punch them in. So if we hit OK, it tells us that we've punched in successfully. We'll also see on the right hand side the employee activity for today, all of the employees that have punched in and punched out. So right now we have Kristen punching in at this date and time. And uh, there's, since there's no punch out time, we know that she's still punched in. At the end of her shift, she'll come back in here, put in her ID, and hit the out button. And this will punch her out. Again, it's asking for how much she ended her day with, what is in her staff bank. So if we say that she's got $150, it now says that she's punched out and recorded what she's done for the day. This screen here is also where the managers can maintain this information. What the manager will do is come down to the Manage Employee Hours, enter their ID, and it'll take them to this screen here. First thing they'd want to do is to select the date range that they are working with. And we're going to select the date range of February 20th. We're going to look at the entire week of February 20th. So we'll go the to date is February 26th. So we're looking at um, 2012 February 20th through February 26th, a full week. We need to select the employees that we want to report on. We can do select all and it will select all of the employees that we have. We can certainly select any one employee or we can select multiples. Up here also is the Setup Employees button. This takes us to the Employee Setup screen, and we have discussed this in a previous video, so we'll just back out of there. Down on the bottom is the Hours Report. For the employees that you've selected and the date range that you've selected, over here is the Hours Report. Um, this shows the clock in time and date for, e for each of the employees within the date range. It shows their total hours that they've worked and their declared tips. If on your employees you have set up an hourly pay rate, it'll take that hourly pay rate, multiply it times the number of hours that they've worked, and give you a, um, a payroll amount over here. If you need further details or to maintain this, we can come down here to show shift hours. This shows us essentially the same information, just in a little different format. Um, if we click on any one of these line items, it'll show us the waiter money drop report. This is the same report that your waiter would have printed when they did their money drop for that particular day. If we need to modify the date and time or the declared tips for any one of these items, we can hit the update button. It'll take us to this screen where we can actually change the time that they've punched in and the date and time that they've punched out. If they have a tip adjustment, if you need to actually change the, the amount of tips that they declared, you can make that change right here. Any changes that you make, you'll hit the Save button, and it'll make the, say, the changes over here. If for any reason one of your employees did not punch in and out for a day, you can come down here to create shift hours. You'll need to select that employee first, then hit the create shift hours, and then you can start over and, and essentially put in their date and time that they started, the date and time that they ended, and the amount of tips that they declared. 
For further information videos on SuperMenu POS, please visit our website at bankcardpos.com.